What's up, guys? How's it going? Mike the Tech here. And today I'm going to show you how to customize your Vader 2 from Flydigi. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and download the Flydigi Game Center. From here, you're going to download Flydigi Space. Uh, right now it's version 1.0.4.3. And you'll have what you see here. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and put that on our desktop and open up Flydigi Space. And you'll see it says to connect your controller. So on your controller, you're just going to turn it on and connect either through Bluetooth or the 2.4 gigahertz um, control method. And there we are. We're connected. And we'll know we're connected because if we hit enter fly digi space, our controller will rumble. You might be able to hear it. Yep. There it goes. And we are in our uh, game center. So what we want to do is actually go to config setting. And you'll be able to change all of these settings about your controller. So you can say what kind of lighting you'd like. Um, so you could say if you want it to breathe. has some nice effects that way. Um, I like to leave it as constant. Um, you can also choose to um, have it when you press a button. It'll light up, which is kind of cool. But I leave it at constant. And then you can, of course, choose... Um, any color in the rainbow, it's full RGB. So uh, we'll go ahead and choose a uh, nice blue for now. All right, so then you can also adjust keys. So you can say what each key does. For example, the C key and the Z key, I have set to L3 and R3, um, but you can set these to anything you want to map it to. You can even set up a macro um, where you can say whether you want to press a certain um, combination of buttons or things like that. So that's pretty great. We also have our joystick where we can adjust um, the curve and the dead zone um, right here. We can choose right or left joysticks. And we also have sensing, which is really interesting. And this is a question I have for you guys. Is this cheating if I use this in a war zone? Now, what it is, is let me show you how I have it set up. So I'm mapping the um, gyroscope to the left joystick. Um, or actually to the right joystick. That way it, it's like where I'm aiming, right? So I'm aiming this around. Um, now I can also choose to set an open um, and release date so that when I hold down the left trigger it starts using the gyroscope and when I let go it stops so what this is going to do is right now it's not doing anything but if I hold the left trigger to aim for example I can use the gyroscope to modify my aim positioning so that's a really interesting feature of this as well so I think that's pretty cool um, once you go through that, you can hit apply and select yes. And then, um, if we go back, you'll see that this is set to config one. So you can still go ahead and, um, well, actually let's hit apply here as well. Um, you can go ahead and make different configurations for different games as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool setup. Um, I think it's, uh, very interesting with that gyroscopic feature in gaming what do you guys think um is that cheating <laughs> uh, let me know in the comment section below peace what you've never heard of stream savers and you thought pewdiepie was the only youtuber to make a game i made a game too and it's called stream savers and it's available for pre-order right now for 9.99 and that's a great price